Hi there and welcome to Vapify. In this video, we're going to take a top-level walkthrough of the four main steps of the Vapify setup process. Step 1. Agency Settings Step 2. Subaccounts Step 3. Agency Top-Up Step 4. Going Live So, let's get started. To log in to Vapify, head to the vapify.agency website and click on the Login button. That'll take you to the login screen where you just need to add the username and password, which was emailed in your initial onboarding. If you don't have them or need to reset your password, or you need to create a new Vapify account, you can also do that from here. Once inside the Vapify platform, you'll land on the dashboard. This is where you'll see the cumulative stats for all of your Vapi accounts, the total minutes, call count, average call duration. From the dashboard, the first step of our four-step process is to define the details about your agency. So click on the Agency tab and then click on General. This brings you to the Agency settings. From here, add your agency name and upload your logo. For the best display, we recommend a logo size of 300 by 75 pixels and maintain an aspect ratio of 3 to 1 or 4 to 1 for optimal results. Lastly, upload your favicon. Then click Save Agency Settings. Next, move down to Domain Configuration. And if you want to host your Vapify platform on a custom subdomain, you'll set it up here. To set up your custom subdomain, first, create a CNAME record in your DNS settings that points to app.vapify.agency. Second, click the Verify Domain button. This will check and verify your setup. Lastly, once your Vapify subdomain has been confirmed as verified, then click Save Agency Settings to apply your changes. Next, move down to Email Configuration. Complete this section if you want system emails that are sent from the platform to come from your domain, rather than Vapify's email address. First, you'll need to set your sender email address. Next, select a provider. Choose either SendGrid, Postmark, or SMTP. If you choose SendGrid or Postmark, simply add your API key. For SMTP, simply add your host, port, username, and password. Click on Save Agency Settings to apply your changes, and you've completed Step 1 of 4, the initial agency settings. Step 2 is setting up the subaccounts. Next, click on the Subaccounts tab. Inside your Vapify platform, every one of your clients is a subaccount. By default, you will already have one subaccount, which was added when your Vapify platform was created. To add new subaccounts, first click on the New Subaccount button. Then give your new subaccount a name and click Create Subaccount that will take you back to your subaccount list. Next, click on the subaccount you want to set up. Now that you're inside the subaccount settings, the first thing to add is your Vapi API key. You'll find this in your Vapi platform inside Organization's Actions API keys. Copy your Vapi API key and paste it into your Vapify portal here. Then click on Save Settings. Next, add your client's monthly charge. This is the monthly fee that you'll be charging your client, which is in addition to their call charges. Use this field to set a monthly charge. For example, if you want to charge the customer, say a monthly retainer, you'll be receiving this fee into the Stripe account that you set up in your initial Vapify onboarding. This fee will be collected for you automatically every month. Next, you need to set up the per minute call charge for each Vapi assistant in the sub account. Simply select the Vapi assistant from the drop down menu and add the cost per minute that you're going to be charging your client. This is the price you're charging them for this assistant on a per minute basis. Then click on Save Settings. Continue this process and with each assistant completed, step two of our four step process is done. Next, we go on to step number three. Click on Billing and Usage. Step three is where you'll top up your agency credit. Similar to other platforms you're used to, like OpenAI, etc., this is where you'll manage the top up process of your white label Vapify agency platform. The top up credit you add here is where your monthly Vapify charges will be debited from. And even though it's likely to be a small monthly amount, you'll first need to add some credit in order to go live on the Vapify platform. Thereafter, you can manage your top-up balance as you grow. With that done, 
you're now on the very last step. In step four, you'll come back to the sub account section. From back within the sub account section, click on the client sub account that you want to make live. This is the go live button. When you're ready to flick the switch, this is where you give the green light and turn your client's sub account live. In order to do that, you first need to specify the billing start date. This is the date from when you want to start billing for this particular sub account client. Now this is very important, so please listen carefully here, as you only get one shot at doing this. Please also read this information thoroughly, and when you're ready to go live, select a start billing date. You can select any date, even a date in the past. Just choose what date you want to start billing from. And when you're happy with it, click Start. And remember, you only get to choose this once. It's not something you can come back to and change later. Okay, well done. Thanks for paying attention and staying with me. You've now gone through the four main steps of setting up your white label Vapify agency platform. What's next? Well, if you intend to give your client access to your white label portal, you can now go ahead and invite your client. Simply create them as a new user. Click on the new sub account user button and put their first name, last name, email address, and assign them a role. Then click the invite user button and they'll receive your email, inviting them to log in into your branded agency platform. When they log in, they'll see your logo. They'll see their dashboard and their call logs, which will have been pulled in from VAPI, They'll see their assistants, and only the ones that are specific to them. They'll also see their call logs. And for each call, they'll be able to drill down and get extra details, which includes listening to the call recordings and reading the call transcriptions. And then for billing and usage, they'll be able to top up their own credit in order to pay you for their monthly payment, etc. They'll also be able to see detailed records here about their voice usage, and the detailed breakdown of their call charges and how their top-up credit has been applied. And that should be a wrap. Hopefully I've covered everything in this top-level walkthrough of the four main steps in the process of setting up your white-label Vapify agency platform. As usual, if you have any questions or requests, please reach out to support or send an email into the help desk. Thanks for watching and here's wishing you the very best of luck in your endeavors and integrating VAPI and VAPIFY into your business.